So as you know, these AI coding tools are popping up left, right, and center. Uh, first we had bolt.new, then we had lavaball.dev, then we had windsurf, which is a bit different to some of these other ones. Uh, we now have data button and I don't know the order of when things came out. I just know the, uh, the order of when I found them and found out about them and was told about them. So the third one for me that's similar to bolt.new and lovable.dev is data button. And I have tested it out. This is free. So as you can see, I'm not signed in at the moment. So uh, each of these platforms have their own version of free and for lovable it looks like a daily message limit for bolt.new it's a certain amount of tokens per month I think and then for data button I can't actually remember so what I'm gonna do I know I had issues with this last time I think that the prompt box the window for building doesn't allow you to put an entire like the huge prompts that we're used to using in the other tools but i've got the prompt that i use to build the jpx fitness site and i'm going to try and copy as much of that in that box as i can including the file structure just so i can see what the initial response is but again i'm well aware that if i try and yeah there we go this is this is nowhere near the amount of data in that prompt the prompt goes on and on so we've got a uh, prompt build a responsive fitness website uh, we've got the website name text stack general requirements color scheme that's as far as it goes in data button but we continue on in the prompt with the background color the accents the cta the page layout and design the header and nav bar logo links all of that stuff and then the file structure so let's see what it does with this basic information i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give it any more i've given it the prompt the basic prompt which is to build a responsive fitness website and I've given it the name and I wish it could have at least taken the color scheme so we could work with that uh, text stack so it's going to use the exact same text stack it would probably be best if I let it do its own thing rather than yeah and then I'll give it the color scheme and again it's got the CTA and contrasting color scheme information I know it's not going to take all of this yeah but that's gonna have to do and I'm gonna hit build we're just gonna get straight into it I wonder what their thought process was behind not allowing you to put an initial a really big prompt up front what I'm gonna try and do The workspace looks a lot different to um, bolt.new and lovable. We're used to the dark theme. Um, immediately you can see you've got the GitHub connectivity. I did say I've used this before, so I think that is my actual GitHub. Uh, hide sidebar. We've got add Firebase. So for most of these tools, their, their default database tool or their default database is Superbase but Firebase is another option. I'm just so used to Superbase now. Uh, I'm, I think they're pretty much the same thing with a few different, uh, I think I've, I've read something about it before but I can't remember off the top of my head but it's going to do the same thing. You connect to Firebase, connect to Superbase, it's going to allow you to have user accounts and do all those wonderful things that take it from being a basic page to an interactive website. So it's doing all the things. It has chosen the same, it looks like it's chosen a similar tech stack. I can't actually see, I can see the tailwind. I can see it's creating workout cards. It's done the nav bar button layout. Uh, it's doing its own thing. It's doing its own thing and then it's going to spin up a preview just like the other tools. Uh, let's look around while it does some more things. So we've got UI components. Oh, okay. So it's showing you 
the different components on the side, the pages. We've only got the home page. This is quite cool, uh, back end. But what I'm noticing with data button again immediately is that it looks like it's going to be a lot less no code than the other tools because UI components, UI files, back end. These things start to get intimidating for people who are non coders. Uh, media like media library. Okay, so can we that that would be good if we can have media here internal storage. Looks good though. It definitely looks good. Um, we've got restore to this point. So when it breaks things as it knows it will, you can restore. Uh, show thoughts. Let's plan out. This is awesome. It's breaking everything down. It's really planning things out. So I like that. And then it's keeping the conversation. My face is in the way. It's keeping the conversation and you can bring it back so you can analyze what it's done. It's telling you everything it's doing. And if you don't like what it's done, you can just restore to an earlier state. And it gives you suggestions. I've not seen this before. Evaluate visual design, review workout cards, test navigation features, check responsive layout. That's quite cool. So this is the immediate site. I wanna bring this up, uh, open preview. There we go. Where is it hosted? It's hosted on their own platform. So, okay, this is a, Okay, this is as far as it goes. So it's got stock images. I'm gonna guess that these are like, uh, yeah, unsplash. So it's got some unsplash images going on. It's thrown in. Uh, when we click on it, does it do anything? No, placeholder content, which is to be expected. View all, does that work? It looks like it's loading, page not found, okay. So it's just uh, done what the other tools do and thrown up the wireframe. Um, a bit underwhelmed, a bit underwhelmed. Uh, workouts, okay, that works. Workout library, so that's what it was building, these cards, and they don't work. Nutrition, okay. It's an interesting uh, design choice, because it didn't take into, didn't take into account my, my hope for the color scheme. Community, cool, not bad, not bad. But that's it. So I would, this is why I prefer to be able to give it a bigger prompt up front because to avoid this, this is not what I would want. I would want to tell it more things. Uh, I don't know if that's because I'm a non-paid user. It could just be a limitation. I've not, I've not actually checked this out. What does this do? Okay, that's the team. That's good. It's got an active team um, and Discord documents, that's quite cool. Um, I've not really seen that. So um, I'm gonna, I've, got to, I've got to do some research on this whole tool, but let's see, create new component. Um, let's uh, profile, let's see what it, how this actually works, create component. Is it gonna start coding it? No, I don't, that's just, uh, Confusing. Okay, okay, so, okay, I think I understand what's going on here. So we've got the different components that we can edit individually. Hmm. Okay. That's the nav bar that looked like it was a workout card. Interesting approach, very confusing, nutrition guide. Okay, so I think the thing here is that you can select the components and then tell it to edit it. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is try and just give it some more information. So I've got 10 out of 20 credits. I didn't check it before I started, so I don't know if they, these are my existing credits from before when I tested this out or it's used 10 credits already. But what I'm gonna try and do is give it more information. 
Um, I would want to condense this prompt. I'm just going to get ChatGPT to condense this. I've said condense this prompt into a few lines, no fluff. Let's see. This is not a few lines, but, um, well, I guess it is. Um, yeah, I really can't be bothered to break this down, so I'm going to just try and give it to it. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I think maybe I'm spoiled by the other tools. Um, this is just a lot different. Even though I've moved from something like Bolt.new to Windsurf, which is just completely different uh, visually, this is, it looks a lot more complicated than I would like in this stage. I want it to be very, very simple, which is what I'm used to. Uh, it is trying its best to, okay, so it's taking into consideration the colour scheme that I've told it. So it's got the baby blue. And would you like me to make any additional adjustments to the nutrition page? Okay, so oh, because I've selected the nutrition page, it's editing that. Okay, I got it. Um, let's, uh, I'm, I'm run, running out of credit, so let's uh, let's do that again and see what it does here so that's quite good it's like the lovable select tool where you click select and then you tell it what you want to do with that component so along the side it just has all the ui components but i can't help but think that would start to pile up quite a bit once you've got loads of different things going on so yeah Okay, it's added the footer, that's good. It's added the links to the calculators. I very much doubt it's created the calculators. Let me test, I'm running out of credit, so let me just test. Um, how do I get back? Let me, I want to test it building the tool, so. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I'm very confused. I'm very confused, there's a lot going on. Um, build the BMI calculator and route it to the link in the footer. Hmm. Tasks, extensions, config, agent, okay. In all honesty, it looks like it's gonna be a great tool with loads of features. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, so it, it has. Hmm. I'm going to build that tool. Let's see if it can do that. some testimonials uh, get in touch it's not really it's not really doing it's doing any magic with the color scheme but it did take into account the things I would have wanted it to do in the, the, the first initial prompt without wasting a message so I think they're doing themselves a disservice by not 
allowing you to use a big prompt up front. And it's not as fast as the other tools. So I just I just wanted to see if this calculator, if they can build this calculator and see the quality. And back end, where can I see the code? Edit code. Okay, that's good. You can access the code quite easily. Uh, BMI, okay, so it's made a, it's made a new page, hide code. Made a new page. Starting to get quite anxious because I've got five free credits left. Okay, cool. All right, okay, different, different. Does it work is the main thing. Enter your height in centimeters. I don't actually know. And you can't see it. Um, you can't even see it. Okay, that's quick. It's just, yeah, it's just, it's, I'm underwhelmed. I'm extremely underwhelmed. Uh, it's not what, it's not what I'm used to <laughs> at this point. I've been spoiled with these other tools, so. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think I'm gonna leave it here. But by all means, if you want to check out and make use of the free account, then definitely go and check it out. It's just databutton.com. What is the, okay, deploy, where does it go? Does that go to Netlify? No, that goes to data button. Um, I want to see the pricing plan. How do I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to just, I'm just going to close this now. I'm just going to close it. I, okay, I think. Okay, here. Yeah, okay, here. Yeah. $20 a month. So the same pricing as Bolt.new and Lovable.dev. $20, $50. I wonder why they're all sticking to that price. I guess they don't want to do the whole race to the bottom thing, which I absolutely believe is the way to go. But they, they definitely shouldn't be racing to the bottom with the price, but they do also need to make sure that what they're giving up front is better than the competitor. So 75 credits per month. If 75 credits or 75 messages, these deals are not not looking good. So Lovable is $20 for 100 messages. And then uh, Bolt.new has a slightly different way of wording things. So it's not messages, it's tokens. And out of all three, Bolt.new's pricing is best for me because as I mentioned before, tokens can be managed, messages cannot, credits cannot. So if I send the message and it writes some code and I lose a credit, each time I do that, 75 is not a lot, especially when these tools are not perfect. So that's all I'll say with that. Check out the free plan if you want to. I'm gonna stick around with lovable.dev and bolt.new and actually bolt.diy. I'm gonna do some videos on bolt.diy because they've made some changes and um, I definitely want to connect some open source uh, LLMs to it and see, see what we can build.